Well, this is Glencar Lake, which straddles the border of County Leitrim, which is where I'm looking at now, and County Sligo, which is in that direction. There's also Glencar Waterfall, about 200 metres away, below the conifers, which you can probably see on the side of the mountain. You may also be able to see on the side of the lake the main car park for the waterfall. I'm going to be going up this road here hoping to find a summit or a route to the summit of Trussmoor Mountain which in the past I've only ever uh, climbed by walking up the access road from the Glenif Horseshoe Valley on the other side of this mountain where I'm working now and initially I'm going to be following these yellow markers up the tarmac road but eventually it will lead out onto open mountain I'm following a route or I'm hoping to follow a route in Adrian Hendroff's book on walks in Donegal, Sligo and Leitrim so maybe a bit more when I get further up. I'm not sure how well this will show up but down below the trees you may be able to see the tarmac road that I'm following snaking around coming around a bend in the distance and then around another bend and continuing on up it's not suitable for cars, the sign at the bottom said. Um, but somewhere we, I should shortly come above the escarpment to a pair of metal gates and then hopefully I'll be out on the open mountainside and be able to see where I'm going. As the tarmac road changes to a stony road and the forest certainly on my right overlooking the lake starting to thin out so there's the two gates that I've already passed through and I'm now going to head out onto the open mountainside um, this is an information point here talking about the Doolin uh, sorry, the Dunin walk, or Dunin's walk. Um, if I were to just go up onto the summit there, I could look back down over Glencar Lake. This information sign is telling me about Nocknuri, which can also be seen uh, certainly from Kings Mountain, which is up um, slightly to my right, um, and also about the legend of the tan born Coolga, the cattle raid of Cooley, which Queen Maeve was involved with. I'm going to follow the road up. You may see a signpost just about less than 100 metres, just before the top, uh, the uh, straight on is the Dunin's Walk. I'm going to go right at that junction go up on, to, you probably can't see it in the mist, but up on to Trussmoor itself. When I come back down I may go up onto that ridge there and see what the view over Glencar Lake is like. And I think I gave the wrong um, destinations. Hudson, uh, just a few moments ago, Hudson Road is to the left, the Dunines is to the right, it's the right that I am going. Now approximately half a kilometre above the two metal gates. Adrian Hendroff's guidebook does say that at this point, as well as the information sign there that I'm looking at the back of, there's also a picnic table. There's absolutely no sign of the picnic table on today, the 4th of April 2015. Who knows, maybe 
it's been taken down to be um, treated or something or maybe it got damaged and maybe the council or whoever's responsible will bring a new one up for the summer season so here is a picnic table just as the road starts to get overgrown with grass I don't think I'm too far from the end of this road now I'm not absolutely sure probably won't pick up on the loudspeaker here but I can hear the skylight singing over my head and again the cloud is fairly low occasionally in the distance I can see the mast of Trustmore as the cloud moves along but at the moment it's not visible and I'm not going to keep recording until it does become visible so this is the end of the Dunin Road and should be able to make out the mast on the summit of Trussmoor that's where I'm planning to head to shortly Adrian Hendroff's guidebook tells me to aim for the right one of these two knolls in front of Trussmoor and to take the stream just to the left of it I can imagine that being difficult if it was completely cloudy difficult to navigate I've just taken a bearing and Trussmore itself is about six degrees west of north or a bearing of 354 degrees magnetic so if it was misty that would be the bearing that I would travel on now Dunin's Road Walk or the Dunin's Walk, the Dunin's Road itself there's an information post about it here it was constructed in the 1940s during the emergency as it was called here the Second World War as it was called in the rest of Europe um, to provide access to the peat bogs on Kings Mountain Kings Mountain is over there somewhere in the mist um, because the import of coal was difficult leave it there see how I get on so the crag that I was aiming for is behind me now I'm looking back at it after I got up the stream to the top of the crag I crossed a featureless bog something like what I'm on now and then had a climb up a slope I got quite hot on that climb even though it was quite short I finished up taking my jacket off and my fleece and putting them in my rucksack surprising for this early in April swinging round that's where I'm heading this ridge in front of me seems to be hiding the top of the mast it's above that ridge somewhere but I'm going to keep on my bearing of six degrees west of north to the top of that ridge and hopefully I'll meet the oh wait one moment there's the mast coming out of the mist I don't know whether it's showing up on this but hopefully somewhere near the top of that ridge I shall meet the tarmac RTE access road up to that mast from the Gleniff Valley which is a way down there somewhere I am now on the southern slope of Trussmoor I don't think I'm too far away from the Tamak Road but I still can't see it <coughs> excuse me in fact it's getting quite misty I can't see that I'm looking back the way I came I can't see more than about 20 meters 
of a swing ground. That's what's in front of me. Maybe looks quite high on the video. Doesn't look to be more than about 25 or 30 meters high. I'm hoping that the tarmac road is just above that ridge. But I had hoped that it was just above that one. We'll see. If I make the summit, grand if I make the summit. If not, as long as I got to get to the tarmac road, I know then that on a better day, a longer day, with an earlier start, I can get to the summit of Trustmore from the Glenade side. Although it's a tougher walk this way, it's a much more interesting one than just plodding up the access road from the Glenith Valley. And so, we finally reach the access road. I see two poles here, I see two poles just a bit higher up, so providing I don't see any more double poles like that, this is my way back down, down there, that's the way I came up. Two more poles coming in out of the mist, but the double set of poles lower down, painted on the road just on the summit side of the upper pair of poles was the number 375. So this is the triangulation point marking the summit of Truskmore Mountain, which is the highest mountain in County Sligo. Um, as you can see, it's quite misty. We should, from here, be able to see down over Mullock Moor. You might just make out some metal stays and if I swing around there's the bottom of some more metal stays and they're holding up. It's not showing up very well in the mist. The RTE television mast about 350 meters away in the direction that I'm looking is the highest point in County Leitrim. Um, it's just a short walk across the plateau and there would be wonderful views of the North Leitrim Glens if it wasn't so misty. So that's it. Adrian, Bla uh, Adrian Bren uh, Hendroff's, I'll start that again, Adrian Hendroff's guidebook actually includes in this walk Teve Bourne which is behind me and then a walk to the edge to look down over Eagle Rock. However, it's now uh, after five o'clock, it's taken me not quite four hours to make this walk all the way up to here. But it'll be dark in another three hours. I'll be down in two if I don't make that detour that I talked about on the way up. But if I go across to Teeth Barn, it'll probably be after dark before I get back down. From where I came up onto the tarmac road, it took me less than 10 minutes, not walking all that fast, to get from there to here. And what a difference 20 minutes can make. Although, as you can see, there's still cloud below me. So, as I go back down, I'll probably be back in the mist. <laughs>